Hey everybody, just thought it would be a good idea to go through how to use the Final Cut Pro extension from Simon Says. First, we're going to do ranges and then captions. I've got a brand new library called How to Simon, and I've got some clips on my desktop that I'm going to drag into a brand new event. I have a variety of clips here, running at a bunch of different frame rates. It's pretty easy to use the extension for clips like these. First, launch the extension. I'm already logged in, so I'll just make a new project. And then drag my event into the drop zone on the extension. It's going to transcode, it's going to upload, and notice that the name of the event automatically matches the name of the Simon Says project. And let's return after this process finishes. Alright, it looks like everything here has transcoded and uploaded, and now I'm just going to click Transcribe. This prompt confirms that you want to do it and it tells you how much time and money you're going to be spending. And here we go. Great, looks like we're done. Let me just scroll through. Every box is checked, and now we are ready to export. Clicking Export will generate a draggable icon, which will put ranges of transcriptions on each clip. But before we get into that, let's take a look at what's already on the clips. Notice they have keywords that were generated by Final Cut, based on the folder containing the clips. I'm going to drag the ranges icon over here and drop it. Then choose to replace existing clips. What we now have is the original keyword and the transcriptions for each clip, all the way down the line. You can edit your transcriptions before importing if you want on the website. Let's check that out. Here on the Simon Says website, I've got my project name, the same as my event, and inside, the transcription. This is basically a text editor, and you can jump from clip to clip, add line breaks, do corrections, adjust punctuation, make notes, set speaker names, bookmark sections, anything you need to do. We will be building this functionality into future versions of the extension. And if you're using the website, you can export to a bunch of different formats. Now, let's get into captions. I'm starting here with a brand new event with a rendered sequence in it. Captions are generally intended for finished products. What I'm going to do is take this clip, which was rendered out and brought back into Final Cut 10, and add it to a project. We'll just call that project Captions. And now, launch the workflow extension. Make a new project. Drag the project itself onto the drop zone. And then transcribe. Once the transcription completes, you can export your captions. Click the Export dialog, and then drag the Captions icon back to the original event. We recommend keeping both the old and the new sequence. This process wipes ratings from the new sequence. So now we have Captions and Captions 1. Let's take a look. There we go. These captions can be edited right here or on the Simon Says website. And that is a quick tutorial on captioning with Simon Says.